Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up custom coordinates for working out where objects are in relation to other objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a gate and we're going to put it in here, this red gate and we're going to look at where it is in the world. So this is our object, object location panel down here and if we click this we can see that the object location for this is x 7.3 meters, y minus 0.86 meters and z minus 2.76 meters. Now that just happens to be where this is in relation to where in this particular map Velostrone thinks the center of the world is. Now we can actually custom set that so I can make it so that this gate or the position of this gate, not this gate specifically but the position of it in the world is where Velostrone considers 0, 0, 0 to be and that is by pressing the Z key on the keyboard. So I press that and you can see over here now this says 0, 0, 0. So the exact position of this gate, so where these arrows are effectively, this this kind of movement thing, gizmo, um, that is now 0, 0, 0. So if I now move this gate you'll see that it's now moving and it's now 3.78 meters from in the X direction because I only moved it in the X from where I started. So let's set this to be 0, 0, 0 again. So if I press Z again, now this position becomes 0, 0, 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone that gate by holding down C and just clicking somewhere else. So now I have another gate here and of course this gate's position is relative to this one because I haven't moved this gate now. So 0, 0, 0 is now exactly where that gate is. So this gate here is 7.36 meters away and minus 0.46 meters to the right of it. So we can now just come here and move this to the left like this and a little bit of a distance. There we go. Well, close enough. Um, and then I could put it, say, 10 meters away like that and now I know the distance between there and there is exactly 10 meters and more importantly that these are nicely lined up so if you were to fly through it it's a nice straight line. Now if I then want to place another gate and I want to offset it from say this one I only need to hit Z again and now this becomes the center of the world and any object I place will be some coordinate offset from there and this of course makes it very very easy to build out a track if you know specifically where gates are or where they are in relation to one another because it allows you to use your own coordinate system and your own measurements to work out where things should be okay that's it and I'll see you on the next video